can we explain now how machine actually learn from data? I know you touched a bit upon that by saying they learn from patterns, but can we provide a bit more detail? How does how do machines actually learn from data? Is there a process that data scientists use to kind of make the machine memorize or understand a certain pattern? Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, it it's so when you do like statistical learning, uh, basically learning from counting. Like I said, like there's rule based, and then there is like data based, and and there are other like you know you can also argue about other things, but let's stick to like counting based learning or statistical learning, uh, which is machine learning, but the modern machine learning that we are doing. So basically, it's all conditional probabilities, right? So suppose uh. You know, let, let's take a simple example. If I know that on my left-hand side in the data set, there are only brown eggs, and on the right-hand side, there are only white eggs. Given I have lifted my left hand to pick, a, pick an egg, what is the likelihood that I'll get a white egg? Zero, right? So basically, you are, you are learning these patterns from the data, and then you are basically trying to predict in an unseen data that you've not seen before in your training sample, what is the outcome going to be? And it's all based on statistics, like probabilities and statistics play a big role in, in machine learning. In, uh, uh... Yeah, modern, modern machine learning. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So all the newer techniques that you see, like deep learning, you know, artificial neural networks, uh, you know, um, uh, machine learning, all the newer AI, like, you know, basically AI revolution happened once people started using data to learn the patterns. Earlier, there were rule-based systems as well, but once people started using data to learn patterns, like whether in linguistics, computational linguistics, or in audio or video, you know, the algorithms became really well in predicting the next set of okay. things. Is rule ba- is a rule based system, you know, employing the classic if then else? Is it still considered AI, or that's a very basic form of AI? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, great question. Uh, you know, decision trees to a certain extent are like if then, like you know, you get at the top of the tree and then you say, okay, if it is like I said, left or right, if it is left, I'll do this. There's a lot of statistics there as well, but. Like you can see this as kind of a like a more statistical rule based system, right? So absolute rule based systems, uh, they come in as priori beliefs. Like you know, so uh, if you're taking, so let let me take talk to you about Bayesian statistics and 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 frequentist statistics, right? So frequentist is basically you are doing the coin toss. You are basically, you know. Um, kind of, uh, you're just looking at the data and then you're kind of saying that, okay, what is the likelihood that you will get a head or a tail? But in Bayesian statistics, you can basically uh, put a rule or a prior belief that this coin is biased, right? So it's not always going to give you 0.5. Like, you know, it's not always give you like equal opportunities of head and tail, but like there's a, there's a prior, it's loaded towards head. So even if your your you know your coin toss for ten or twenty or thirty instances is gonna come as equally head and tail, you would still like bias that uh, with that initial belief or rule. So you can think of that as like a kind of a, introducing a kind of a, a, a rule in the system, uh, and and earlier crude based rules like you know uh, those were those used to happen like, um, but I don't think anybody is using those systems. It's mostly, you know, counting-based statistical approaches, deep learning, machine learning, and AI, yeah. Okay, interesting. And those deep learning, uh, machine learning systems, are they all trained manually by engineers or they can also learn by themselves? Uh, That's a great question. So um, at this time, they are mostly manually trained, uh, you know, uh, autonomous learning like uh, there is this new idea called self-supervised learning. Um, there is a lot of work going on there. Um, you know, I have few papers there, but I won't consider myself an expert. Um, you know, uh, there are much, much more scholarly people that are working there. 
uh, I would say it's not there yet. Uh, and even if it's gonna be there, I would be doubtful how much how much of a self supervised system or like you know fully learning auto learning system it would be. Um, you know, there, there you can learn um, within your universe, your your data universe. Yes, you can learn that. But if there is an instance that is outside of your data universe, it's it's hard because you are basically like you know relying on the data to learn the patterns. So um, yeah, you see where I'm so going most, with this. Most current systems are supervised. Uh, you know, uh, so. Uh, Supervised and unsupervised is is slightly uh, different. Okay. Uh, supervised meaning like uh, you are given the basically the the outcome, right? So for example, you know, uh, given this egg is brown, you are uh, and this egg is white, you are given these labels. When those labels are not given, it's called unsupervised. What I'm talking about is is more like self learning systems. Uh, you know those. Those ones, and in that context, the self-supervision also comes. Uh, but those are not yet at a point where, uh, you know, we can say, okay, yeah, they are auto-learning. Like, they would basically be really good <laughs> given an infinite amount of time. Yeah. Got it. Yeah.